Coach Miles, just uh, your thoughts on the ejection and just what happened there and um, just the incident with the fans, mouthpiece. Yeah, um, you know, I was upset about a call, a couple calls really. Um, and I, I, I let my I let my temper get get the best of me, you know. That was definitely the wrong thing to do by throwing my mouthpiece, you know. Um, I was aiming for I was aiming for the guy that was screaming at me and it, you know what I'm saying? It hit a, it hit a little girl. So that's definitely unacceptable on my part. Um, and I take, you know, full responsibility. I'm ready for any consequence that the NBA gives me. Um, but yeah, that that's on me. That's out of character for me. You know, you know, you never, you've been around me, you know, I, I, don't, I don't act like that or, or never flash out like that. So that was definitely, that was definitely wrong. You know, a lot of emotions and hopefully I can get in contact with, with the young girl and do, and, you know, sincerely apologize to her, you know, and do something nice for her. But that's that's definitely on me. You mentioned it's not like you. Is that just so the frustrations you guys had? I mean, you guys um, talked about last year, just how you put that behind you, but you guys actually lost by more points this year than last year. Does that just show the frustration just, uh, just uh, where you guys were at at that point in the game, I guess? Yeah, I mean, because I feel like we improved so much this year. Um, and for that – for the same thing to happen again, um, it's definitely frustrating, you know, because, you know, I, I didn't see myself anywhere else um, tomorrow except for in, in another playing game and then in the playoffs. Um, but that's that's not the case, you know. So um, I'm going to try to, you know, push myself past exhaustion again th this summer, um, work as hard as I can to get better and make sure, you know, that I'm in the playoffs next year or we're in the playoffs next year. Miles, uh, where did you think this one got away from you guys? Third quarter. Um, you know, we we did a great job um keeping it keeping it close, you know, until the third quarter. We we, you know, we turned the ball over and took bad shots. They got anything they wanted on offense. You know, credit to them. They did a great job of making shots, uh, making the right plays, um, and, and doing all the right things. You know, they, they kicked our ass. It's as simple as that. Um, but that third quarter really defined everything. One more about the mouthpiece, too. Um, it was a 16-year-old girl that you ended up hitting. Um, and is that – that's – have you ever done that before, thrown anything ever? No. Nah, I mean, you know, I, I normally don't let my emotions get the best of me. Um, and for me to be in one of the – in the biggest games that I ever played in and that happens, that's, you know what I'm saying, that's unacceptable for me. That gives a bad image to, to my name. Uh, into who I am as a person, and and that's not me, you know. Especially, you know, hitting a little girl, you feel me? That's that's terrible. So, I I I, I like to um, right my wrongs. Um, so, yeah, I apologize for sure. What are the takeaways from the season? I mean, I know obviously right now it sucks, but you get forty three wins. Everything seems to be climbing in the organization right now. Yeah, I mean the last. Three years, we've gone up 10 wins every time. You know, last year we had 33. This year we had 43. Um, so, you know, it's improvement. Um, but it's just the same outcome. You know, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Um, and we want to get to the playoffs. You know, everybody on this team wanted to wanted to get to the playoffs this year. We, we feel like we had a legit chance. Um, but, you know, like I said, Atlanta did a great job of, uh, of beating us, doing all the right things, and we didn't. So that was it. Turning point in the game. How much of that frustration in the third quarter had to do with DeAndre Hunter just being so hot and, and he was wearing on you a little bit? Yeah, I mean, DeAndre, everybody knows DeAndre Hunter is a great defender. You know, um, I feel like I didn't take it. I feel like I didn't get the ball when I was supposed to in certain situations, you know, um, when I didn't have DeAndre on me. Um, and I tried to attack him when he was in. He did a great job, you know. It's it's hard to it's hard to guard me going downhill, and he did that today. Did a great job of that. He's one of the premier defenders in the league. Um, so that's just something for me to get better at in the offseason, creating for myself. When he's playing that way, um, how much better does that make them moving forward? Well, it definitely helps them, you know, because you know Trey Trey does a great job on offense. Kevin Herter does a great job on offense. Gallinari. And then him and Clint, they, you know, they're they're the anchors on defense. So if they if they play good, if, if both of them play good on defense, then it's they're, they're going to be a tough outing. You know, they did a great job of that last year, and that's why they made it so far. It seemed like there was a little bit of a feeling out process for you guys offensively, and then in the second half, like I mean, you you took it to the to the rack hard a couple times in the third quarter. Was there a period of 
you just saying, all right, we're just going to, we got to attack much more than we did in the first half. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're settling too much in the first half. I mean, including myself, you know, I took too many threes when I could have drove it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like I had to buckle down and get to the basket, get fouled. You know, it wasn't a lot of foul calls being, being called, but you know, that's how I go. How does this team get to the next level next year? Seems like, especially on defense, seems like that's one of your Achilles heels. How do you guys improve to get, as you said, to the playoffs next year? And how do you also improve on defense without knowing personnel and whatever? It's just yet. Uh, just defense, you know, defense, decision making. You know, we need we need inside presence and we need to make smart decisions on offense. You know, that's the only things that, that that's hurt us this year. That's lost us games. Um, I feel like if we fix that, then we'll be a great team. Yep. Thank you.